Happy holidays, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the One Person Podcast. I'm your host, Lemon Yagi, and let's just get into it. In my hands right now, I got a list of some of the most popular Christmas characters, and I'm going to say if I can find them or not, so let's get into it. First on my list, I got Scrooge. Um, I, I don't really want to be like rude or anything or mean, but I don't think this man can go up a, like a flight of stairs or anything. He's like 80, so I'm pretty sure I can beat Scrooge in the fight. I don't know, maybe he has some tricks under his sleeve. Maybe he has like the forbidden jitsus or whatever, but I'm almost positive I'm being Scrooge in the fight. Next on my list, I got the Grinch. Now, if I'm going to be completely honest, I'm like wiping the floor with the Grinch. Um, He's not saying a chance. The problem... Whoa, what was that? That was, that was, that was, I don't know. I'm keeping that in. Anyways, the problem with the Grinch, right, is even if I win, even if I beat him in the fight, you know, just like plumb him to the floor, you know, one two combo, you know, all that deal, right? All that stuff. The problem is that he's like hella petty. Like, he's like, th- like, that's, that's basically his like main characteristic. He's just petty, okay? So I'm just gonna like go back home, you know, I'm gonna I'm a relax for a bit and I'm just gonna see like all the shoelaces to my to my shoe is just gone. So even if I win against him, I'm still losing. Also, then he like steal someone's girl. Like, isn't that what like part one of the movie? So yeah, I'm not messing with the Grinch. You know, he, he can he can take that dub. Next on my list, I got Santa. I'm not winning that fight at all. It's not even gonna be close. I, I don't even think I'm gonna be able to land a punch. Bro's just gonna punch me once and I'm gonna be knocked out, okay? How I imagine Santa is how um they imagined a door from God of War, Ragnarok. Like, um, that's how I imagine Santa would be if you were ever to, like, get in a fight with him and stuff. So, I'm not winning that at all. You know, I, I might as well, you know, just, like, I, just, I can't even think of a joke. This He's just hella intimidating, you know? Next on my list, I got Rudolph. Um, this one's kind of interesting. I don't know if I could beat him or not. Because the problem is, he's a reindeer. And I think most people underestimate how strong a reindeer is. But in the movie... Like, that guy with the cool beard and stuff was, like, twice his size. So maybe he's a small reindeer. But even then, he still has got, like, antlers and stuff. And so he's still going to be a threat. And, like, he can fly and stuff, can't he? So, like, I don't know. I think, I think, I think I'm think i leaning more towards Rudolph winning that fight. But, you know, it can go either way, you know? Next on my list, I got Jack Skellington. And this is where it gets interesting because it can go really either way. And it just depends on the situation. Because realistically he's a skeleton right and so realistically i should be able to beat him but how would i beat him because he is basically immortal right but then he got like shot down in that one scene remember and so that's where it throws me off like even if i like like him with that one two combo type deal um do i win like how like how do we know when the fight is over so that one i'm just gonna say it's a tie um, it just makes it easier that way. Will Ferrell as Elf. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm being um I'm being him in a fight. Not because like I think I'm like stronger or better at fighting or whatever, but I think he's just gonna be confused. And yeah, that's 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 my whole my whole psychology from that. I don't know. Maybe there might be a scene. I don't really remember the movie too much. I haven't watched it in a while. Maybe there's a scene where he just shows um like enormous amounts of strength. But in my opinion, I think I can beat him. And last on my list, I got Batman. I am not winning that fight at all. At that point, you know, I'm just just take me to Arkham Asylum. I'm not even gonna try to fight back. Anyways, that's all I have for like characters I want to fight and stuff. And right now, I just kind of want to talk about like YouTube and stuff and my current mentality because personally, I believe that I should you know start documenting how I feel at certain moments of my YouTube career and stuff. Just so like if I ever make it big, which I really doubt, you know this. It's like a one in a trillion chance of me making it big, right? Um, if that ever happens, you know, I would like like my fans and stuff to see like my my mentality change and grow from there. You know, it, it just it just seems good in my mind. So I'm gonna talk about mine right now. Currently on YouTube, I'm getting very little views and very little like attention and stuff. There was one video, I think it was the video essays ones that did amazing, and I gained a whole bunch of subscribers. But since then, I haven't really got anywhere near. To the same amount of like precipitation um from like my viewers and stuff and my current my current mentality and how i'm currently kind of dealing with you know that because it is it is this uh encouraging and stuff seeing that my current mentality is that eventually people will see these videos that i'm working hard on and it'll just take time and once i you know i blow up again or people start noticing me more you know they can go back to those videos and it makes me more watchable and stuff So currently, you know, it's just time, you know, time fixes all wounds type deal. 
so hopefully, hopefully I make it big, um, so yeah, that's, that's basically my mentality right now, anyways, I'm gonna end it here, guys, that was the 1% podcast, hope you guys enjoyed, see you guys next time, and peace.